so the way that you want to try to explain the bow with the hands, you notice we said point, see how my hands are, crash, see how my hand is, shoulder, see how my hands are, flick, or across, see how my hands are, watch what I do with my hands, okay, from there, now we're going to do it with out the bow with a partner, he punches at my face, there's my point, there's my crash, he hits again, there's putting it up to my shoulder, there's swinging across, and this is my helicopter. So, all of those motions that I'm doing with the bow equal the motions with the hands. Does that make sense? Now, from there, after we did our first helicopter, it came one, two, three, four, and five. Think of it as a bow, and we get back to our first helicopter, <coughs> right? So like in a kata, typically you do it on one side, then you do it on the other side, then you do it back to your left side so that we can continue with the good technique, right? So now that we're back to the left side, we have this motion, okay? I have Rylan in here, boom. Does that make sense? So as I'm here, this motion will help me learn this thing, and that's my, my flip, okay? Boom. And what was the next thing? Come up and over, come up and over, bang. There's a head or, you know, we can follow through. So, we're helping the kids understand, okay, he's gonna jab and cross real quick. Ah, ah, move that around, move it around. That's what I just did here, by doing my seven step sequence. Is that okay, guys? Yes. That makes sense? Yep. Okay.